you know, I'm really waiting for you women to finally admit the fact that it is not this thing of men just all being trash and men just being all the same and you just having terrible luck with men. I'm ready for the day that you women finally admit the fact that you have a type. Y'all love the no good, irresponsible, for the streets, pass around, baby daddy, cheating, lying, playboy, pimping. Y'all like those type of guys. That is why you continue to have the same outcomes and results. When will y'all finally admit that and stop playing games and stop wasting your own time? When will y'all finally admit the fact that there has been countless of decent men, responsible men, providing, protecting, leading, teaching men out there who have approached you, but you turned him down because you didn't like his car. You turned him down because you didn't like his shirt. You turned him down because you thought he was too short, too dark, too light, too thin, too fat, too broke, too dusty. You name it. And what makes it so much worse is the fact that these men that would have made you great husbands and great fathers for your children, those men were not broke, not dusty. They were perfect for you. But because you wanted to live up to this unrealistic expectation for what you feel like you deserve, even though you have not put in an ounce of work to deserve any damn thing, you turn them down. You say, oh, no, I'm, I'm not settling. But then what blows my mind is y'all are the same females that would then turn around and settle for Smokey. Who is Smokey? I'm glad that you asked. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. These females have the highest of expectations and standards for quality men. But when it comes to Smokey, oh, but he got potential though. One day, someday, you know, he gonna boss up. One day, someday, he gonna be a real man. He gonna be a good man. He just need a real woman like me in his corner. Girl, please. That is what baffles me. Good men don't meet your standard, but piss poor quality men, they definitely don't meet your standard, but you're ready and willing to wait around on him to meet your standard one day, someday, because you feel like he has potential. Emphasis on feel. He's not showing and proving you anything. Nothing whatsoever. He has no direction, no vision, no ambition, no focus, no self-discipline. He has nothing. But maybe good pain and conversation. Oh, and heavy on the promises. Maybe. If he even cares enough about you to give you lies and fairy tales. So I'm honestly just kind of fed up and sick of a lot of these chicks coming through like, oh, I'm just having the worst of luck with men. And it's because all men are the same. No, you're the same, ma'am. Your type is the same, ma'am. You refuse to do things differently. You refuse to do the self-work and take accountability and responsibility for your type. When will y'all finally admit that you are the problem? Whoopsie. Is that too real? And see, I got to be real with you all like this because if I don't, you're going to continue to pity yourself and cry in your cars. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Let's get into this, you all. I'm going to be honest. I'm fed up. I'm tired.
I have no more sympathy and pity left. I really don't. These chicks keep on pointing the blame at everything and everybody else but them. It's you, ma'am. Y'all don't like good, responsible men. Y'all will come up with a million reasons as to why you cannot get with him. Superficial, surface level reasons at that. Oh, yeah, you know, he just too nice type-ish. Oh, but, you know, he just, he don't make enough money. Ma'am. Ma'am. You need to take his $60,000 a year and combine it with your 39, okay? So that you can live a better life, all right? You need to do, I think you need to take up, take him up on that offer because waiting around on Smokey, I just don't know how that's going to pan out for you, okay? So stop being a bulldog, Keisha, and go ahead and get you a good man. Stop playing, ma'ams. Please stop playing. It's not cute. It's not funny no more. Y'all getting way too damn old to be making these same mistakes over and over again. You're getting way too damn old to be sitting around with all these damn excuses as to why, you know, you can't find what you're looking for. You're the problem. Y'all pass up the good men. That's one level to the conversation. Or the good men are passing you up because they see what type of female that you are. You are the type of female to entertain Smokey with no problem. You are the type of female that is a liability. And so, yeah, you are having poor luck with finding a good man. But the huge elephant in the room, ma'ams, is you. It's you. Again, y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. I came across this video of this female crying in the car. Like, literally, you know, they out here crying in the car. Talking about, oh, woe is me. I'm having such a terrible time with finding a man. You know, all these men are trash. They're all baby daddies and all of this and all of that. And I heard her out. I did. I gave her the opportunity to plead her case. But the more that I listened to her, I said, aha, it's another one. Another one of these chicks that is not looking in the mirror let's get into it y'all like the video share the video and subscribe yo i think i'm going through a season <laughs> of being emotion overly emotional i think i'm going through something like you know i'm just like thinking i bumped into an ex like two days ago and he broke up with me because he was like, my standards are too high. He didn't say it like that at the time. Now he just explained to me that he was not the type of guy that I want to be with because, um, or, you know, he, he used to tell me that, you know, you're such a wonderful woman. You're going to make such a great wife. You're going to, you know, um, um, but he wasn't ready for the type of relationship. Right. And then like, so he, he's like he wasn't ready but then he tells me he has a baby and i'm like oh you had a baby i wanted to be a wife and have a baby like what's the difference <laughs> i guess men are more willing now to be fathers than husbands and it breaks my heart because i'm like god i'm out here wanting to be a wife and settle down um and I don't want to be like I'm comparing myself to people, but like there are plenty of women out here that can find somebody or is found by somebody, you know. It's wedding season now. Like I just got my lashes done. Can you see? Because I've been invited to three different weddings. Like this weekend I'm going to a wedding. Next weekend I'm going to a wedding. Um, December I'm going to a wedding. And I won't lie, these ty these type of things, I'm so happy for people like I'm the first to congratulate you and stuff. But sometimes it does, it, it is a bit hurtful when you think about like, God, is there something wrong with me? Because I'm the common denominator in all these things. I'm the one that people are breaking up with, or I'm the one that nobody wants to be in a committed relationship with me. So it just makes me wonder, like, 
you know, I guess these prayers that I'm praying, like God keep him away from me if he's not for me, are really working because it's like, it's like I'm not being seen. Like people are like not seeing me. <laughs> if people are not seeing me, I'm even at the stage where I'm thinking, you know what? I, I think I need to just give up on dating. I need to give up on. Um, I don't know, because I've heard people say, once you stop looking for love, that's when you find it. So I'm like, mm, maybe I should just stop looking, stop, just stop, stop looking, stop going on dates, stop, you know, just stop all of it and concentrate on my relationship more with God, which is probably what I need to do. It's probably why God has got me hidden, because like, God has got me hidden. Like, uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I tried to let her finish, but I, I just can't. Oh, hold on. Ho, 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 ho. Like the video. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Okay. Um, are y'all hearing what I'm hearing? First things first. She says, I think that I'm going through a season. A season of being emotional due to the fact that God is blocking me. Right? Listen to what she's saying. Now, let me go here and peep the game. And again, y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Ma'am, a lot of y'all are going through these seasons, quote unquote, by your own doing. Let's take it a step further and say this. A lot of y'all seasons are lifelong. Why? Because you are not learning the lesson. It's not a season if it's ongoing. At that point, it is becoming a lifestyle. It is becoming a part of who you are, a part of your essence due to your choices. Stop blaming God. Stop blaming other people. Stop blaming the men on the fact that you have a type. You don't want good quality men. Let's pay attention. She said that she is going backwards by talking to her ex. Did y'all hear that? She said, I recently ran into my ex. Which means to me, and y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I heard. Which means to me that she was trying to go back to a dead end relationship. Just because she feels like, you know, that's the man for her. I want to be with him so bad. She goes on to say that this ex of hers or this man, whoever he is, right, has a baby on the way. Which indicates to me also that he is a type of dude to make babies out of wedlock, to potentially hit and quick, spread his seed all over town. Like these are the type of guys that she is entertaining and not only entertaining, but trying to double back to. So she's not even opening up her options to new potential, great, decent men to entertain. She's not even doing that. She's too consumed with dealing with deadbeat baby daddy exes to really see what else is out there. What else did she say? Again, y'all follow your little big sis and like, share, comment, and subscribe. Keep up with me and follow me. What else did she say? She said, oh, he said that, you know, my standards were too high and, you know, well, he didn't really say that, but what he said was, you know, I'm, he was just not the type of guy that, you know, I was looking for, which translates over into she was trying to make Smokey be a stand up quality gentleman. She was trying to turn Smokey into Samuel. Oh, well, baby, I just feel like if you would just do this and do that and do this and do that, then, yeah, we could take this to the next level. And, yes, this relationship could blossom if you could just do this and do that. And he's telling her, look, ma'am, this ain't that. I'm not that. I don't want no parts of that. Like, he's really letting it, letting her be known 
or letting it be known rather that look, I'm not looking for anything serious. Again, her type is the type of guy that is not looking for anything serious. Hence why he has a baby mama. Come on, you all. And I'm sure he's the type that will create more baby mamas. Let's go here and really analyze this. You are dealing with a guy that is essentially telling you, look, I am a deadbeat baby daddy. I am not the type of guy to settle down, to take seriously. I'm not him. Right? Let's analyze this character, right? Let's stop trying to make men, I'm sorry, males be men. He is letting you know, I am not the type to settle down and be committed. I am not the type that is a one woman type of man, yet he has a child. So if he is letting you know that he's not even that type of man, and yet he has a baby on the way, couldn't one conclude that this is the type of guy that will create more and more broken homes, broken families? Because he has no problem with creating children that are lifelong commitments, right? But he does have a problem with settling down with a woman. He's letting you know what type of character he is right there. Yet you're crying in your car over him? Let's continue to peep the game. Because this is something else that a lot of these chicks do. And again, y'all like the video. It's some real talk. These chicks not only try to turn Smokey into Samuel, right? And change him into be this stand-up husband and everything of that sort. But another thing that these females are out here doing that really irks me is that they are secretly competing with other women around them. This is why I don't really trust too many females. I don't really deal with the sisterhood like that because y'all are constantly comparing and contrasting every little aspect of your life with females that you're supposed to be happy for. She said, oh, look at my lashes. Don't you like my lashes? I got them done because I'm going to three weddings this year. All of my girlfriends are getting married. All of my friends are getting married and I'm secretly jealous, but I can't say that because you know I'm happy for them. Let me let y'all in on a little bit of game. Whenever, whenever somebody is letting you know that you have something that they want and they're crushed that they don't have it, but then they turn around and say, oh, but I'm happy for you. Run. That person hates your guts. Nine times out of 10, they don't like you. They're jealous and they're waiting for your downfall. You can't trust a female or a male like that, for that matter, that is out here um, yearning for what you have and is broken down by not having what you have, but then turn around and say, oh, but I'm happy for you. Those are the biggest haters. They are the most jealous, envious, cutthroat, evil eye having, man, steer clear. OK. But another thing that they do is they're constantly trying to compete and compare and contrast their lives with people around them. Which lets a man know that you are the type of female that could never be satisfied and pleased. Why? Because the moment that your girlfriend has something from her man that you want, you're going to be coming, breathing down my neck, talking about, huh? hey, babe, Sandy, her husband took her on a trip to, I don't know, uh, the Bahamas. And so I just really would love if you would take us on a trip to ba the Bahamas. Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Why aren't we doing this? Why aren't we doing that? Men run away from females like that. 
Nothing that he's doing is going to be good enough. Why? Because you're going to be constantly waiting on him to outshine and outdo and outperform the next couple. Even if it's not anybody that you all know personally, you're the type of females to go online, see something on Instagram and say, oh, babe, I, I came across this really cute couple on Instagram and they dress like this and her husband bought her this and they flew out here. And so we need to do that, too. And what's going to happen when your man says, no, we're not doing that. That's not something that's feasible to do. That's not something that's wise to do. That's corny. No, I'm busy. What are you going to do then? Divorce him? Leave him, say you're unhappy, like the majority of you all do, which is why men today are not getting married to begin with, because the moment that something does not go your way, oh, you know, it's just not working for me. I'm just not fulfilled in this. I'm just not happy in this. You're just not enough. It's not good enough. It is so many red flags in this, and she has not even finished the video. But I'm just peeping the game. So far, that is what I have picked up on. And you're problematic, man. Again, you are the problem. You are going after exes that are clearly exes for a reason. But you feel like for whatever reason, you can change him, rearrange him and all of this. And, and you don't. And then the moment that you realize, oh, I can't change Smokey into Samuel. Now you want to cry in your car and pretend like, oh, woe is me. And God is just blocking me. No, you're blocking yourself. Y'all like the video. Share the video and subscribe. Let's continue. Let me take it back a little bit. Up, You know, just stop all of it and concentrate on my relationship more with God, which is probably what I need to do. It's probably why God has got me hidden because like, God has got me hidden. Baby, you got yourself hidden. Stop blaming everything on God. Stop blaming everything on men. Stop blaming everything on your daddy. Please, ain't nobody hiding you but yourself and your decisions. You're, you're making it easy for these good quality men to pass you up because you're too focused on chasing behind Smokey. Girl, let's continue. Like the video. Like, I meet the most random people. I meet emotionally unavailable guys. I meet guys that just want to play around and have fun. That's your type. Are not serious. Or I'm meeting guys that have like a thousand and one children, which, okay, it's fine. You know, people have their lives, be a baby daddy. But, you know, I've come, I've come this far to be my age and not have a child and not have these things and, and be disciplined in certain areas and responsible so that I can be in the stage. But yet I'm just meeting people that have no discipline in their lives, but yet they want me to lower my standards and i'm just like no see this is what pisses me off y'all she's making it seem as though she is not the common denominator which is mind-blowing because she just admitted the fact that she was the common denominator but this is what they do they take fake accountability like i know like it's you know i am the common denominator but really it's just god hiding me it, it really it's just you know these men are trapped ma'am Ma'am, ma'am, you like no good men, okay? Stop making it seem like you are just randomly meeting all of the same type of men. That is not what's happening. That is not what's happening. I'm pretty sure you ran into at least three to four, maybe even five decent quality men that you passed up for whatever reason, because he was too short. You didn't like his clothes. You didn't like the way he spoke, whatever. You passed him up. Please stop. Stop making it seem like every man out there 
is the same and they're all deadbeat trash player pimp baby daddy stop admit that it is something within you that is not only attracted to those type of guys but actually attracts those type of guys to you y'all don't want to go that deep y'all don't want to get that real oh but i do because i'm tired of y'all crying in y'all cars blaming the world blaming god blaming everybody but your damn self you mean to tell me you didn't run into one decent man Oh, girl, yeah, he was he was too nice, though. Oh, and his pen wasn't big enough. Yeah, you know, I need like a 12 inch. You know, it was only average. I don't want... This is what y'all do. And instead of acknowledging that, y'all would rather say, oh, God is just hiding me. And all the men are just smokies. And all the men are just baby daddies. And all of the men don't want to commit. No, it's you. You, ma'am, keep running into guys that you want to change into quality men. That's the problem. Instead of going to find quality men, a lot of y'all would work harder and not smarter and go after guys that are letting you know up front. Look, I'm not that. I'm not looking for that. This is not that. Y'all would go after those guys trying to turn them into Prince Charming and then complain. Let's continue. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just fed up. I really am. I really am. Y'all like the video. I'm fed up. I'm tired of the same story. All I can hear in my head is violins. Y'all drop, matter of fact, y'all drop the violins in the chat right now. Drop the violins. Or maybe you feel sorry for her. If you feel sorry for her, Put a big purple heart, okay? Put a big purple heart and say, yeah, you know, it is because all these men out here are just trash. You know, it, it's not that she keeps going after, you know, Smokies. It's just that all the men are Smokies. Put a purple heart if you really feel for her. And then if you like me, drop them, them violins. Because I, I just, I, I can't feel this. I can't. I can't. Let's continue. Hey. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm I'm struggling. Eh? I well, I'm struggling. Um, these my eyelashes look nice, <laughs> but I am struggling with it. Um, it's not an easy thing to be celibate and practicing abstinence and still wanting to be married. Like I sometimes even pray, like God, if this is not for me, just take this desire away. Like just take this desire of wanting to be married away. Like because it's hurtful. It's 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 like year after year i'm just getting older and i'm no way near it so i wouldn't lie I'm just going, i'm just emotional for a lot of things maybe my period is coming <laughs> but yeah i'm like god if this marriage if marriage is not for me if family is not for me just take it away like take this desire away because i have this desire like i want to be a wife but I don't want to have to lower my standards just to be a wife. Like, and it's not like I'm asking for much. I'm just asking for someone to value my boundaries and for us to get to know each other and to grow and still be committed to each other. You know, like, why can't men wait? Why? Why, why can't they wait to have sex? Like, why? And then I know the question I'm going to be asked is, then why can't you wait for dates? Because like men equate sex and money together. You know, obviously the question then is, then you should pay for the dates. And I'm like, I don't, I don't believe in 50-50. Oh, is that so, ma'am? Now, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. There are some things to take into consideration and account re real quick. Hold on now. Let's take it back. But if this is not for me, just take this desire away. Now, she's saying, look, again, it's not me. It's 
all these men are trash. It's God blocking me. It's, it's God hiding me. Like she's saying this and she's saying, look, God, if marriage and family and all of that is not for me, take away the desire. Well, ma'am, what you need to be asking and praying for is for your desire to be with dead beats and turn them into Prince Charming. Take that desire away, ma'am. See, y'all y'all are out here praying for the wrong things. Y'all are out here looking for the wrong things. Ma'am, you have a desire and a taste for a type that is your issue. You're out here saying, oh, take away my innate womanly desire to have a man and love and a family. Take away that instead of taking away the appetite that I have for no good, piss poor quality men. That is your issue, man. What else did she say? She said, why can't these men just wait? <sighs> Now, we already know she's talking about eggs, okay? She's talking about that whoopsie. So, apparently, she's out here dating, and she's wanting men to wait around on her as far as giving up the goods. Now, I'm not going to fault anybody for their religious beliefs and all of that. Like, if you feel like you can't be out here doing X, Y, and Z before marriage, kudos to you, but I'm going to be honest, you may find a, you may find it very difficult, um, when it comes to finding a man that's going to want to stick around, um, to do that because let's just be honest y'all in, in today's climate, look, especially when a man is spending money, spending time. And to me, time is something that you cannot get back. Like, Time is precious. I got to be honest, you all. Um, mm, realistically, is it something that is, that is fair to ask of somebody to spend a bunch of money on you, spend a bunch of time with you, um, help you out, pretty much be a husband, be a boyfriend for you, right? And a lot of y'all swear up and down, oh, never be a never be a wife to a boyfriend. But then y'all are the same females to then turn around and say, you know, um, but I need you to be a husband to me and be a boyfriend for me. But no, you don't get any wife, you know, qualities. You don't get any wife perks. And sex being one of those things that, yeah, a lot of men are going to want to return on that investment. But you know what I mean? Like, hold on. If I'm cashing out, if I'm spending time and money and resources, I'm opening up to you, helping you. I can't get a little sloppy toppy. You know, I can't. Eh, not saying you're going to give it up right away. You know what I mean? But if somebody is making that type of investment with you and for you, like, they're going to want a little something, something. You know what I'm saying? Now, again, fuck it out. If that's your standard, that's your standard. You stick to it and you find somebody else that is ready and willing to go the extra mile with you in that manner. Okay. However, what kind of gets me with you, ma'am, is the fact that you're saying like, look, I expect for a man to go above and beyond for me, but I'm not, I'm not budging. I'm not wavering from my standard, even if that man is required to waver from his. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not going 50 50. Well, ma'am, just to be fair, I feel like that's a decent request. I think that's a fair and balanced request for a man to have, especially if he's not really getting much out of you. You know what I mean? Like money, time, resources, love commitment like that's that's valuable those are huge investments not to get anything in return you know so to me i would give you the advice of hey the the least that you can do is maybe split it down the middle that way the man does not feel like he is 
going above and beyond for somebody that is not pretty much doing anything for him. Like he gets no perk out of it, you know, and let's be honest, you all like sex is important. We're not going to make it seem like sex is not something that is important, especially when it comes to relationships, you know, now, again, I'm not saying to bust it up on the first night or the second night and all of that. But if somebody is expected to spend a lot of this quality time with you and wine and dine you, like, come on, you all. We're in 2024. We're going to want a little something, something to go along. Come on. Come on. And so for you to be so entitled and selfish as to say, oh, no, but I'm not. I'm not making no investment. No, like, I don't believe in that. Like, no, nah, we ain't doing that. To me, that's trash. And again, ma'am, you are setting yourself up for the ultimate failures over and over again due to you not being honest with yourself, due to you not being fair and balanced when it comes to how you are approaching relationships, when it comes to your standards. So I just feel like, Women today need to be honest with themselves and let the cat out the bag. Okay. Not like that, ladies. Okay. If that's your, if you want to keep the cat in the bag, okay, cool. But you're going to have to come out, out of your bag when it comes to them dates. Okay. Let, let's just be honest, you all. Like, we're not going to, come on. Got to be fair. But, you know, like I'm saying, like, we have got to be real with ourselves, acknowledge our shortcomings, acknowledge the fact that maybe we're doing something wrong. That way we can fix it. You know, acknowledge the fact that you have a type. Acknowledge the fact that you have been turning down good quality men, but because he didn't meet your physical quality or standard, you didn't want him. Or because he didn't meet your materialistic requirement or standard, you didn't want him. You know, you're superficial be honest but to be out here making it seem as though all men are trash and you know god is blocking you and punishing you and secretly competing with these other women trying to be like them and it's forcing you to try to force a relationship or force a smoky into a samuel be honest with yourself about that ask yourself why am i doing that ask yourself hmm Am I blocking my own blessings and getting in my own way by turning down perfectly good men for superficial subpar reasons? Am I doing that? You know, like really be real. And that way you all can start to flourish and find what you're looking for. But as long as you're going to continue to be in denial and be the victim, you're going to continue to have the same results. But anyway, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, do you feel sorry for these women out here? Do you not? Do you feel like they are running into just a bunch of deadbeat, baby daddy, irresponsible guys? And it has no, it has nothing to do with what they're doing. Like, let me know. Or is it like, no, they're passing up these good quality men and they're trying to change and rearrange these bad boys into being good husbands and it's backfiring. Y'all let me know. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. And I'm going to see y'all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown heads.